G'day, I'm Michael P from Waves, and today I'm going to take you through a recording session using plugins from only two bundles. The two bundles I'm talking about are the Native Power Pack and GTR3. Native Power Pack by itself is an amazing bundle, GTR3 by itself, very powerful. Put them together, however, and you've got a weapon. What you're looking at here is a recording session with every single plugin bypassed. Now all of these plugins are either in the native power pack or GTR3. And what I'm going to do is go through this recording session, show you how I'm using these plugs on each of the tracks, and hopefully give you a better idea on some of the things that you can potentially do with your own music in your own studio. First up, let's take a look at the first track, The Kick and the Snare. Plugin number one on here is the Q10 and you'll see that I'm tweaking the mid frequencies a bit more, mostly to give it a bit more body, and then up the high end, I'm just polishing it just a tad. Plug-in number two is the C1 compressor, and I'm squeezing it a bit because what I want more of is a bit more of a room feel. Now let's have a listen to that with the acoustic guitar. First plug-in here is a Q6. And I'm using it as a high pass filter to get rid of some of the mud in the low end. So we're freeing those frequencies up for other instruments. The other plug-in here is a C1. And all it's really doing here is keeping an eye on those dynamics to keep them under control. The C1 can be incredibly transparent when you want it to be. Okay, let's bring in acoustic guitar number two. Here's a Q2. All I'm using it for is a high pass filter. Thinking outside the box, we could also turn this into an electric guitar, assuming as we already have one acoustic. Let's put on the GTR tool rack. The way I'm using it here is with automation. So I've got it set on an acoustic guitar in the verse, an electric guitar in the chorus, then back to the verse. Sounds like this. Bringing in the bass guitar now. Now this one's interesting because there's a very annoying low mid frequency in there that dominates everything. So you're gonna see a big dip that I've got about 125 here to try and get rid of that. When you take something out, it's good to put something back in, and that's what I'm gonna use the C1 for again here. I've got the compressor and the gate both unbypassed. You can see the attenuation. Let's give it a bit more makeup. I can always bypass the gate, but right now I need it because I'm squeezing the dynamic, so it's bringing up more amp pump, and I wanna get rid of that. Good time to bring in the vocals. There are three plugins here. You've got the Deessa to look after sibilance. You've got the Q10, which is giving the vocal a bit more presence by pushing up those mid frequencies and tweaking the high, making it sound like she was closer to the microphone and therefore a bit more intimate. And the C1 here is hiding itself really well by just controlling the dynamics and not making it sound like it's compressed. Underneath the kick and snare loop, I've got an extra snare sample to help fatten it all up. Now the first plug-in on here is the S1 Imager, because I want that snare drum to spread across the speakers. Let's see how this sounds. Now I'm going to bring in Renaissance Axe, because it's great at squeezing those low-level dynamics and bringing them up closer. This will help me hear the ring on the rim of that snare drum. Now we're getting somewhere. You're like a child this is another drum track, and I want it to be my room microphone drum track. Doesn't sound like it right now, but let's see what we can do. This is gonna give it a bit more spread. All right, now let's bring in the C1 compressor. You may notice that this time it's actually before the EQ, and what it's gonna do is squeeze all the dynamics together, and every bit of extra room noise is gonna be right at the front. 
Now let's pull out a bit of the mud down the bottom with an EQ. The reverb you're hearing on that now is true verb. It's being sent to that via a bus. This is the first of the electric guitars, and I'm gonna put a cue on it straight away to give it a roll off on those low frequencies and clean it up a bit. Now I'm gonna add a GTR stomp with two stomp pedals. I've got a doubler and a chorus, just to give it a bit more flange. Wow, I forgot to put a plug-in on this track, so let's use the GTR tool rack. When you stick GTR Tool Rack as a plug-in onto a track, it doesn't give you any stomp pedals, but it does give you two amps, and we start you with clean. That sound is pretty much exactly what I'm after, but I'm gonna to head to the presets page to have a mess around first. Nope, I like what I had before, let's stick with that. Now back on the stomp page, I'm gonna add a delay. You'll notice that you've got two different areas in Tool Rack that you can change the settings. Up the top, up here, or in the individual stomp. Let's use a light echo. So, there you go. Two bundles that are very affordable that can really make your sessions pop. Put them together, however, and you've got an amazing combination. Waves Native Power Pack and Waves GTR3. See you next time.